queen. But you did suddenly then come into a whole new world. Yeah. And you kind of were able to take your experience of working in entertainment because you interned at E. Yeah. And you had a, you know, you talked to Wendy. You, yeah. you had a lot of stuff that you wanted to do. Yeah, I did and a lot. You were able to take that and sort of run with it. Yeah. You know, I, I don't think anything's changed. Like my laser focus on what I want to do is still right in front of me. Mm -hmm. But it, yeah, it's helped. It's great. But also, I think a lot of people don't realize the fact like, there's a switch like that can be flipped. Like all of this can end yeah. overnight. Like this channel could be canceled. Oh, but believe me, I know, <laughs> honey. It was a yeah. we had a moment where we thought it was going to be canceled. Yeah. So you always have to be like ready for what's next. Yeah. yeah. So you're in a very interesting position with a lot of uh, people eyes on you. You have almost a million followers on Instagram, mm -hmm. and so you've managed to fall into this very elusive category of influencer, mm -hmm. something everybody wants to be, but not everybody is. Is. And it, yeah. it is elusive because even on your Trump Twitter teams. stuff, it says like a little bit of everything. Well, I get I'm a Sagittarius. Wow. I get bored really easily. Uh -huh. So and also when I was a kid, I was told you need to do one thing for the rest of your life. And that never sat well with me. I always wanted I was interested in photography. I wanted to act. I wanted to be a TV host. Like, I feel like that's what should be taught to kids. Like, you really can do everything. But I grew up so old school, and it didn't work out for me in the beginning. And when I started doing what I wanted to do, it just took off. It was cool. So yeah, I, um, I get to travel. I get to travel for work. I get to do a bunch of fashion stuff. and Yeah, so like, what are the, some of the, what's the, you seem like you have a wide variety of projects you're working with, yeah. fashion brands. Yeah. yeah. And so how does something like that work? Like, they see that you have a lot of followers on Instagram, that you're very attractive young man, you're part of a power gay YouTube couple, mm -hmm. and so they say, hey, we're dockers, and yeah. we think your butt will look great in our khakis, yes. so yes. <laughs> come to Puerto Rico or whatever. Yeah, so, um... Brands will reach out to a bunch of people and just see who is the best fit for them. Uh -huh. You know, it's not just like, oh, you have a lot of followers, we want you. Yeah. It has to be like, fit their image, fit their demographic. You have to, and also, I, I hope I'm a good person, you know? I want to work with companies that I actually like, yeah. which is great. I don't want to, I'm not going to like, throw out like fit tea or these <laughs> like the Kardashians do it all the time I'm like girl you got so much money you're not doing your own body cleansing exactly. bill <laughs> exactly um, so yeah I mean the travel thing is great I love to travel and photography and videography it's so much fun hey, queen.